All right, so one more nice property of the Laplace transform that makes everything uh, nice is that the Laplace transform is linear. So uh, again, so suppose that uh, A and B are just constants. Um, F and G, again, are piecewise continuous functions of exponential order. So still satisfying those conditions that we had earlier. Um, it says if you take the Laplace transform of A times F of T plus B times uh, G of T of S, it says basically you can just kind of imagine sort of distributing the Laplace uh, you know, uh, operation. So it says uh, you can pull the A out and we'll get the Laplace transform of F of T of S plus B times the Laplace transform of G of T of S. Okay, and this is again uh, uh, a very nice property. I guess let's prove it real quick. The proof is, uh, you know, super straightforward. It's basically just using the definition. So the Laplace transform of A of F of T plus uh, B times G of T of S, well, by definition, what that gives us is um, we go from 0 to infinity. This is our function a f of t plus b times g of t. Um, and then we have to multiply that, well, e to the negative st dt. And now it's just busting up the integral, uh, you know, just using properties of the integral. Right? We can uh, break this up into two separate integrals. So that's just 0 to infinity of a times f of t. Um, again, I probably, uh, no, okay, excuse me. Um, everything looks good. Um, I, you definitely have to distribute out the e to the negative st. So when you distrib distribute that, we'll get e to the negative st dt. And again, I'm just going to bust it up. So 0 to infinity, when I distribute the e to the negative st to the second term, well, we'll get b g of t e to the negative st dt, and now we can simply pull the a out, you know, you can pull the a out, it's just a constant, and do the same thing on the other one, just pull the b out, and now we've got what we want, um, this is simply, by definition, the Laplace transform of f of t of s, and this is the Laplace transform of g of t of s. Okay, so no big deal, easy to prove, uh, super, super easy. You just plug it in and just use the definitions and just recognize, hey, that's the Laplace transform. Um, what this basically says and why it's, it's, it's important, it says uh, the Laplace transform of a linear combination of functions. So if we take the Laplace transform of a linear combination of functions. It says all you do to compute it is just take the Laplace transform of each one individually. So just like, you know, when you do derivatives, or excuse me, um, well, derivatives too, or antiderivatives, um, you, you, anytime you have pluses or minuses, you just kind of integrate them individually or differentiate them individually. Same thing with, uh, with using the Laplace transform. So, um, all right, in the next video, I'm actually going to list a table of uh, Laplace transforms, and uh, we'll use that to actually uh, uh, calculate uh, some Laplace transforms of slightly more complicated functions.